Hello and welcome to the favorite 20 minutes of your weekend. I appreciate you so much supporting my work by dropping a coffee in my tip jar, clicking down below to purchase any of the tools and decks that we use in this video, or stopping by Amaro's Intuitive Studio for a private consultation. Thank you so much. Cheers to us in the season ahead. We're starting out with the moon, and this is based on the Astro Dice that I rolled. The moon, um, so the energy of the week is going to be deep and based on our emotional center, okay, which is represented by the moon. We just had a full moon in Scorpio, so you might want to check that out as well. Um, oh, I'm skipping. Aries, we've talked about Aries a whole bunch in the last couple of months, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, but this is dynamic and impulsive which way does that go? I don't know. It depends on your emotional health. And the fifth house, fun, romance, and creation. And this is like deep satisfaction with um, this area of your life. Like what are you making, fulfilling your desires? And so we're representing something deep and fulfilling. I don't know if that's a change that's happening to you or you are changing, but we're starting with this message here, the nurturing of energies to meet the challenge of the power of love. Okay. Nurturing ourselves and bringing that to the table. Okay. In these, in these fulfilling relationships and creative experiences, feelings caused by your desires regarding the investment, investment gambles and other games. Reactions resulting from the honest, honesty and strength of your creations. So really just being authentic. That's going to be really important. Authentic to what you feel deep down. Uh, the Scorpio moon, we spoke of like a really, really deep desires, deep, deep emotional desires. That is something you might want to look at if it's uh, an area that you're not feeling fulfilled right now or you don't feel tapped into your emotions. And um, maybe you don't feel then fulfilled in your this creative aspect of your life or your relationships. So those are things to note. Energy of the week says that might be changing for you. Okay, us actually, us. So yay, I think that's exciting, beautiful, deep. And this can be very satisfying, but if we are not being honest and true to ourselves, then it's probably not going to be. All right, so next up, Let's go with this, God Goddess. Uh, this is the Flower Life Affirmation of the Week. The God and the Goddess are not separate from you. Their stories enlighten you, describing the dance of the creative male and female forces within each and every person. Okay, so not man and woman. We're talking about the balance of masculine and feminine in each of us. We each have masculine and feminine balance, and it's very... Uh, unique inside of every person, okay? You are a part of the source, the cosmic heart of it all, a willing participant in the eternal cosmic love affair between the physical and non-physical, God and goddess, matter and spirit. Allow God goddess energy to enter your world. Softly and gently close your eyes. Imagine yourself floating into space a black velvety matrix. All around you are shimmering, twinkling gold and silver stars. Float into this wondrous place of stillness and silence. Breathe in the silence through the stillness. You are here you hear the whispers flowing from your heart. Rest here, embraced by your soul, the essence of you. Breathe in love. Feel it illuminating and warming every corner of your being. Rest here in the safe arms of all. When you are ready, open your eyes and move into your day.
Okay, actually, don't go anywhere because you got to finish what we're doing right here. Now, this is the five of materials. It's the five of coins or pentacles generally. And um, it's not a great feeling card, actually. Even though it describes this beautifully, this generally is an energy of feeling left out or like you don't belong. So I want you to consider that there may this is something we have to honor okay we have to honor the way that we feel regardless of that upsets what we uh, perceive our life to be okay that we may rather than we may see something okay we may see that there are things on the horizon for us choices to make opportunities but we're holding on to the past or holding on to something that feels more comfortable but do you know that miserable kind of comfort you know where we say we want one thing but we do things that act against that that's what we're going to experience and if we continue to do that we're going to continue to be in this cycle where we see we see the beauty in this experience okay we see the growth that we can experience here from here so how this was this beautiful description but yet this means this card actually means being left out forgotten alone feeling that way okay we're nurturing these feelings and reactions we maybe we're feeling this on the inside maybe we're angry maybe we're we're working up some things that we have to express through creative efforts so we can have more fulfilling relationships that's possible um, but it's there's a balance and this what you experience there's nothing wrong with not belonging certain places because if we belonged everywhere then we would never really find where we belonged at all we'd never be able to go there because if it, if everybody um, needed us the same we could never really go our own way so we have to like balance what is the, what is the desire of others for us and what is what do we see on the horizon for ourselves and it's a choice, very, very much a choice. Choosing to cling on to something old when we see what um, the potential that we have is always going to bring us, keep us in this cycle of, of dissatisfaction. On the other hand, if we do choose to match, and we did get this, this just recently, so if you remember, um, I don't, <laughs> but if you remember, we did just get this. But what I want to talk about, instead of thinking about money, I want to think about resources. Because Taurus, in the uh, the season that we're in right now, in the this, this season of uh, the sun, April about 19th, I think, to May 20th, is Taurus season. I did a whole video about that. But surprise for you, there's a whole new series coming out. And it's going to start at the Taurus new moon. And you're going to fucking love it because I'm working my ass off on it and um with some special partnership help from um my moonlit magic partner has been helping me out for sure um fulfill this vision but you're gonna learn you're gonna be able to absorb without my like chaotic energy telling you random things about different signs we're gonna start to roll these out starting with the taurus new moon on may 11th which is actually coming this week because I like to release them a little early. May 11th is my birthday. Um, that's not it's not till next week, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but we're gonna do um, a brand new video teaching about new moons, in particular in rituals and options, different ways that you can take advantage of that energy, and then uh, also doing one around Taurus. And then over the summer, we'll be releasing all the others, okay? Full moons and Gemini, and then the Sagittarius full moon all coming out soon. So I just want to give you that quick update. Um, since you're my, my inner circle, you get to know first because a lot of people won't stick around, you know, to find out what's actually going on. So anyway, Taurus season is all about resources. That's what I was getting into. All about resources and um, experiencing abundance and prosperity, but that within our own soul, within our own heart space, the connection with the earth, um, the resources that we have. So while it may be about money and resources and being rich and prosperous in the world and as the world defines it, that's not necessarily so at all. It's very much about feeling rich in spirit 
and using what you have at your fingertips right now and that will honestly shift your whole world but that is what we're talking about here with about with resources have to make sure that these things match okay relationships with resources to how how do you align that what you say with what you do okay do you believe you're worthy of fulfilling uh like a full, a full bank account and great friends do you believe you're worthy of that do you believe that you're capable of sustaining those relationships and that um, relationship with your own resources or are you worried you know that you're you have to cling on to things too tight because you're afraid you're afraid it will go away from you your choices here are going to directly reflect your experience so your choice to hang on to something that is stagnant will make you feel like uh, left out or even just a lack every time when because you're going to always see on the horizon the abundance of living from the spirit that's what this is living from the heart space uh, really like the creative space the passionate space this creative power here that's this do you see this mirroring this uh like sun here that's what that is you see it it's a mirror and then also you see the sun here. You see it's a mirror. Choosing to honor and nurture this part of yourself, even though it may feel it may feel like it's upsetting the balance, will shift you from this kind of um, experience where you feel cold, like you, you see the light, you see the warmth, but it's not within your reach, you're outside of it because you're hanging on to something old and you're going to always because you're going to see this on the horizon. You're not allowing yourself to walk in. You know you are perfect. You are perfectly worthy and capable of walking into that space and fulfilling your own potential. Um, you're being guided that way, but you have to trust it and you have to know you're worthy of it. So this week, we have to start to balance our relationship with money it ebbs and flows you are worthy again not just money resources relationships we're talking about deep creative satisfaction from our own soul that's what i want you to think about the ebb and flow what satisfies you deeply and what allows you to sustain that energy if you invest more time um, and you will give more space for yourself to have this sustainable um hobby creative space whether it's career or not it does not matter how seriously you take it um, in the world it does not need to make money but you need to get into this sustainable a uh, long-term mindset with yourself there's an ebb and flow to everything every season of your life is ebb and flow okay and you need to start to match what you want with what you're doing um, and your mindset, what you're focused on, you have to trust that things come and go, okay? Heal your relationship with your own resources and relationships so you can move forward. What is your sacred shift? What is your story? What do you need to upgrade? So you know what I mean? Like what space do you need to be creating your life from? It's not about money necessarily. It's about the space you're creating your life from. And we're healing um, that within us. This inspiration, that's what we're talking about here. Queen of inspiration, that's what you're the queen of again. Look at the, that beautiful like sun here that's like mirroring this. That's what that is. Your, your creative fire from your heart space is what's gonna lead you there every time. Find it, that in, find the things that you can sustain. You may not know right now, play with it. You don't, we don't know what that is right away. And we think that we're supposed to know things when we're kids still. We're not supposed to know anything. We don't even start learning that we don't know anything until our 30s. I'll tell you that right now. We don't even start, it's more about admitting. Can you admit uh, now that you don't know anything yet? Or do you still need to learn some more? Um, life, you know, we're talking about all encompassing life purpose, creating roots that are sustainable for ourselves long term do not discount the the small start the slow start that allows us to create a balance okay the roots 
Many of the most evolved beings on the earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. And that's exactly where we want to create from. Money, and I agree, again, sometimes about money, but when we're talking about, we get this, this stereotype that, that everything is about money, finances, career, income, um, what's in your bank account that is not, not where your richness comes from. It never will. We need enough but it will always ebb and flow. We, and we need to trust that we will always have enough um, <laughs> with, that all of our needs will be met. Right there, trust in the divine source that all of our needs will be met. You have a plan, the right actions will come and you are my source for all. That is that concept of the daily mana, right? Where every day we pick up and trust that our resources come. It may, it's not the same every day at all but the resources do come and we have to trust in ourselves and the roots and the foundation that we've created and again trusting our gut let's start trusting our gut some more our heart and our own voice when we start to trust ourselves and remember who we are that we can differentiate and create boundaries not based on fear not based on react reactions um, from past abuses towards us but uh, this emptying of fear and attachment, okay? We're able to differentiate, I'm safe now because I trust me. I can allow things back in. I can open myself to receive something beyond what I ever expected was possible for me in a direction I never, ever, ever saw my life going. How does that even happen? How do we get here? I don't know, but don't worry about what other people think. Their reactions or opinions of me are not about me at all. People tend to project their own insecurities or fears onto one another. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. 100% and you start to realize what's you and what's not. Okay, that someone may say something, project something on you, but is it you? Hmm. It's up to you to decide. If you hold on to their opinions, uh, rather than stepping into what feels right to you, which I don't know what that is for you. I don't know what changes you need to make. Uh, we all need to make them though. I guarantee you that we all have growth uh, to experience and to accept in our lives. Seek to enlarge your appreciation of the beauty of nature animals and humans especially yourself especially you okay start to appreciate you more and you let go of, of people's opinions our final message for the week of may 2nd to may 8th 2021 defend your willpower with the trust of a child accept what you think you know about fun romance and making art accept it right that's at your core your heart space accept what you know let your feelings tell you how to do it your own way and do it dramatically and hell yeah let's go into the week with that spirit well watch out for that taurus new moon video um actually i'm sorry there's several videos there's going to be a card spread there's going to be a body scan meditation there's going to be a guide to the new moon so you can kind of see a little bit more clearly and there's going to be a taurus zodiac guide uh, so you can immerse yourself in a little bit more of what that energy means and it's just going to be really easy to understand laid out kind of in slides so you can see and have examples so it's not just my random uh explanations but you still will get this uh promise you'll get the moonlit magic spread um that is exclusive to us you'll get the journal you'll get my wonderful sense of humor as always and uh just have the best week ever thank you so much for me